Hello everyone. Today we are going to talk about a new lesson. Solve in quadratic equations using formula. First of all, I would like to recall the past knowledge regarding the quadratic equation solving completing squares. I want to bring you again another question that we discuss how to solve a quadratic equation completing square. Then this one 2x squared minus 6x minus 1 equals 0. Then here are coefficient to x second power term and the x term. But you know how to do that one by taking the constant to the opposite side and dividing the old terms can remove the coefficient of the x squared term. Like this. Then they are having the left hand side a combination of x squared term and the x term. Then using the knowledge about the expansion of the binomial expression we can arrange in the left hand side a such a condition this way. We have to build up a 2 in the x term to that one we can multiply it and can divide the x term by 2. Then by giving the second powers to the both sides of the 3 over 2 can arrange in the left hand side as an expansion of the of a binomial expression. Then this way can arrange a second power of a binomial expression in the left hand side. We had these two parts the given equation arranging in coefficient to one of the x second power and these two parts had in the left hand side and these two parts adds to the both sides and we arrange this second power in the left hand side. Now it can equal to the right hand side this value. Then simplifying 3 over 2 whole second power to 9 over 4 can build up can arrange the left hand side value to one value a fractional value like this. Then further simplification here have x minus 3 over 2 whole second power equals 11 over 4. Now they have a possibility of arranging the both sides as a second power power of both sides. Then by giving the square root value to the left, right hand side and considering the two possible values plus and minus can go to the solutions very easily. This is the past knowledge regarding the our lesson. Quadratic equation, solve in quadratic equation completing squares. Then further simplification here bring the 3 over 2 negative 3 over 2 to the left, right hand side then it become plus 3 over 2 and can arrange as a one expression in the right hand side but there are two possible values two instances to the x value plus and minus sign uh, conditions then giving 11 square root a value 3.31 approximately and substituting the value to the instead of square root 11 can decide two values this way and can go to the answer, quantitative answer approximately can evaluate the value as plus 0 0.15 and negative 3.15. This is a past knowledge regarding our lesson. Now you know what is the general form of a quadratic equation. It is a x squared plus bx plus c equals 0. Here this condition also can be solved completing squares with the knowledge of our previous questions. Then bring the c to the opposite side minus c and we have the issue with the coefficient of the x second power a but dividing all terms by a can 
remove the a of the a x squared term. Then that way there remain x squared plus b over a x equals minus e over a. That knowledge, past knowledge, the expansion of a binomial expression like this can apply to the this instance also. Then we can bring this term the left hand side b squared plus b over a x equals minus e over a. Can't arrange this expression, this left hand side expression in here also. Had to derive a 2, multiply 2 by and divide the same time by 2. And there's a short term is to arrange the left hand side as a second power that is b over 2 a whole second power is given to the both sides. Then they have left hand side arrangement of a expansion of a binomial expression. What is that ex binomial expression? That is b minus x minus b over 2a whole second power. Now you can see we had these two parts in the left hand sides and these two squares added to the both sides and we arrange this second power. Then we can do the further simplification. Here are variables, not as in the early question we discussed in the complete square method. Instead of those numbers, we can handle these variables very easily this way and can arrange minus e over a plus b squared over 4a squared. But the here are no numbers, but we can do the simplification by arranging common denominator in the both fractional form terms. Look at this one. Both terms are multiplied by 4a minus e over a to arrange 4a in the both fractions. Then here. Now denominators are equal then can build up one fractional term in the right hand side. Let's do the further simplification. You can remember that expression that we had in the last of the early session. Then this one is the same term, same expression. Now we have to arrange the right hand side also has a second power to remove the second power and to evaluate the x value. By giving the square root of both sides and by considering the two possible values of the right left hand side value that is plus and minus. Then second power square root can remove the second power but no square in the left hand right hand side complete square therefore we have to keep it the square root sign to the last answer. By giving this square root to the both parts to the numerator and denominator this way, but the denominator they have a two squares, four and a squared, both are two squares, then can complete a complete square and can remove the second power as two way. But both the line have minus 4 a c plus b squared. B squared have a second power, but it can't arrange as a complete square. Therefore, we have to put it this square root sign. Now, we want to build up an expression to the x, but here in the left hand side have plus b over 2a. Then, to get the x, we can remove that one as negative minus negative b over 2a. Then, both have two equal can arrange this way taking the b over 2a front and can arrange two expressions addition of and subtraction of two expressions with the common denominator and we can build up a formula to the x in terms of a b and c this way. Here we consider the general term of, term of the quadratic equation and we took an expression in terms of a, b and c to the x. But 
when we consider this expression this this type of expressions are called as formula because there are more variables but here have plus and minus two instances to consider when we have to get the values okay this is called as the formula for the quadratic equation solving quadratic equation then general form of quadratic equation here x is a variable a is the coefficient of the x second power b is the coefficient of the x term and c is the constant by considering this general form we can apply this general form to any quadratic equation with the terms of a b and c then again this is the last formula we build up to get any solution of a quadratic equation of any quadratic equation solutions suitable values to x are the solutions roots all roots can be solved by applying a value b value and c value to the give according to the given quadratic equation now i would like to again recall the first question 2x squared minus 6x minus 1 equals 0 let's apply this thing to the formula to get the answers and to verify the answers is that the same answer as the complete square then here a value is 2 b value is minus 6 and c value is minus 1 a value is 2 b value is minus 6 and c value is minus 1 formula is x equals minus b plus or minus b squared minus 4 is square root over 2a now then we can substitute the values to b minus 6 we can substitute the 2 a equals 2 value to the instead of a in the formula and we can substitute minus 1 to the c in the formula this way very easily can handle these numbers minus into minus 6 minus 6 minus 6 second power 36 in the square root sign then here plus 6 plus or minus square root 44 36 plus 8 44 again 44 can write in bracket with in the square root sign 4 into 4, 11 it can arrange as a product of a square number then we can separate the square root sign square root 4 into square root 11 then both have a common factor 2 then can cancel by taking by applying a bracket to one time above the line and below the line then we can get last in the last step 3 plus or minus root 11 divide 2 we can do the fourth further simplification you can remember the same early method we use the complete in squares we had the same answer as in the formula method in applying the value to the 11 approximate value we can go to final answers this way considering two instances plus and minus two instances and quantitative error value approximately plus 0 0.15 and minus 3.15 this way that the first question we discuss in two methods complete in squares and are used in the formula next one another question 3x squared plus 4x minus 2 equals 0 there are coefficients greater than 1 to x second power and x but using formula we can handle it very easily most of the students like to follow the formula method because just they have to sub replace the values and can go to the answers with proper uh, simplification method 
if you do any mistake in this method you will have wrong answer formula then can give the value to b 4 plus 4 can give the value to a that is 3 there are two places a in the two places and can give the value to c minus 2 within bracket we should always apply the brackets when we use a negative value then that values can simplify further within bracket has 16 plus 24 and minus 4 plus or minus root 40 divided by 6 here 40 can arrange as a product of a square this way and can break the square root sign root 4 and root 10 then can go to the answer using brackets can cancel the common terms above the line and below the line and minus 2 plus or minus root 10 divide 3 is the answer in terms of thirds but here are two possible values plus and minus further simplification can go and apply in the value to 10 root 10 root 10 3.16 then there are two possible values minus 2 plus 3.16 over 3 and minus 2 minus 3.16 divide 3 then 1.16 divided by 3 and minus 5.16 divided by 3 are the two values by dividing both values by 3 can get the last answer 0 0.38 and minus 1.72 here very easily can go to the solutions to the quadratic equation using formula then you can do more questions you have you will have more questions in books in exercises in textbook and do practice and be fluent uh, solve the quadratic equation using squares using formula this way okay stay with us uh, subscribe our channel and stay with us we will have more lessons coming lessons and to give more knowledge to you thank you very much